I better have a new side hustle by next year. <laughs> On that note, you're back with the Penny Stupid Podcast. <laughs> Get a new side hustle because you got rude. Hey, it's, uh, I'm Steve Rode. That coffee drinking fool is Damon Day. And today we're talking about, Damon, the burning topic you have is about the Waymo financing. or Was it Waymo? Yeah. yeah we're the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's doing all the christmas decorations and we got a big like sign thing the chevy chase uh that, that quote on there the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house or something that's <laughs> like my, my favorite christmas decoration well i think it was yeah waymo, waymo just got was it six or eight billion dollars in more financing yeah uh, the headline here is uber lyft drivers you got way more problems than you think <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, because autonomous cars are are coming fast. Uh, Waymo is going to expand next. They're in four cities, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Austin, and they're now moving into Atlanta. So they, in the they, last... What was the headline, Steve, about the funding, how much they get? It was six or eight billion dollars. I think it was, no, 5.6, right? 5.6 5. billion? Okay. Th- does it really matter? I mean, once no. you start getting into the B words... Like w- whether it's a billion, two billion, it doesn't matter. It's a law of money. Well, here's the deal. You know, oh, it'll never happen. Well, as of we've been July, saying it since we started the we, since we started this channel in 2022, we've been saying it'll never happen. Cars are going autonomous. You drivers yeah. are complaining about stuff down here. You're not seeing the big picture. They don't care about what you're complaining about. They are going to replace you as soon as they can. Yeah. As of July 2024, Sucks. Waymo has. It is. Uh, delivered 22 million rider miles. Uh, this is tech that is well proven. Uh, right now, it's just the regulatory regulatory hurdle and to that's, get it. That's just basically been in Phoenix. Waymo's just started in Phoenix, it's, right? They're not in anywhere else really yet. Yeah, they're, they're in LA and San Francisco. When did they expand to LA and San Francisco? That was just recent. A year ago. Well, a year is recent. Anyway. Well, just last year, I would only see Waymos when I would be in downtown Phoenix. It'd be here and there. There's a Waymo. And about half the time, there'd still be a driver in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, now this year, you know, I don't really drive Lyft and Uber much at all anymore because the money has gotten so low. Mm-hmm. It's it's absolutely asinine to drive. I, I don't understand how anybody is still driving Uber X and Lyft. As a full-time driver, part-time, you can still do it. If you cherry pick and you just wait until there's bonuses, which mm-hmm. are few and far between, there are strategies involved. And you can actually, like I went out last week and I made, I think, $1,250 on just Lyft, um, mainly on a three-day period. And then I was still doing grocery delivery and stuff like that. But now the next week after I made $1,250, I made zero, zero on Lyft because I didn't go out and drive because the conditions weren't right. So... I don't know how anybody can still be like full time. Well, I'm a Lyft driver. I'm an Uber driver. The money is not there. And and I saw yesterday there was this big protest in New York. Uh, Uber drivers. Did you see that? No. They were. There was apparently I, I saw it on the rideshare professor or something. They had like a thousand drivers there protesting, blocking traffic, parking their cars on whatever. Right. Big protest. And you know what they were complaining about? You're going to laugh at this what? because we told them this was going to happen about a year ago. When, so you know what they did in New York? You remember that, right? Where they yeah. passed the minimum wage, minimum whatever. Drivers have Dri- to make. Yeah. Of so drive time. Big shock. Don't yeah. go watch our videos from a year ago because we <laughs> told you it's going to happen. But here's what Uber and Lyft are now doing. They are locking drivers out of the platform because they don't want too many drivers right. on the platform that they have to pay a minimum amount of money just for being active right on the platform. So the politicians went, look, you're going to get 40 bucks an hour, 30 bucks, whatever the hell they were promising. But you know, what? oh, action, opposite reaction. Right, right. Now they're complaining because they can't drive when they want to drive because Lyft and Uber are limiting the amount of drivers because they want to maximize the drivers that are on there if they're going to have to pay anyway. Why would they have two drivers if one driver can do the work, right? Yeah. If you're going to be paid for sitting there, they don't want two guys sitting there. They only want one. Right. So they had this massive protest bitching about, (laughs) we can't work anymore. No shit. Because you got this law passed that forces them to pay you a minimum amount of money. 
Why would they have more more drivers sitting there than they need at that particular time? Now it's going to be even, you know, micro on and off. It's going to be, oh, we need a driver this 15-minute period. And then, boop, like it, switch them off. Like, these drivers just want all the cake. Yeah. You know, and then they want to be able to eat it, too. Yeah. It's like it doesn't work like that. You have to have a give and take. And they're 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 just rushing to the cliff. All the lemmings are rushing. So why? I, I just don't know how else to make this more clear with these autonomous vehicles. You know who doesn't complain about sitting there or getting locked up? Autonomous vehicles. Yeah. You guys are the biggest headache and the biggest expense. Well, so, you know, one of the arguments that we've heard is consumers, people, riders will never do this. They will never get in an autonomous car without yeah, a they drive. Will. They do it every day. Now, here's the thing. I, I've never been in a Waymo, but you and I both own Teslas. And with the software updates have been coming out about every month now. And my Tesla can now take me from my driveway to whatever my destination is with very little intervention at all. And it does a very good job. So, you know, this technology is coming. Now, here's the thing that I find you know, really funny is that, again, Uber and Lyft drivers, they have an opinion, they have a reaction because it impacts them. However, and I get it. If you look at um, how much automation has changed, I, for some reason, I watch a whole lot of farm automation videos. From it's weird, yeah, up here. I don't know why. I li- I like the technology, but it's weird, man. The uh, you know you know you can get a combine going out there uh, on an auto track, just doing its own thing, turning itself around at the end of the the field. You can get a grain cart pulling up. Uh, it'll sync with the combine. It'll go at the same speed. All this stuff is becoming more and more and more automated. In, in fact, um, it really has blown my mind recently when I've looked at these farming videos and stay with me. This will all come around. Uh, I've looked at these farming videos and dairy farmers are now using robots to milk the cows. The cows walk into the stall by themselves when they want to get milk. The machine milks them. And the reason why these farmers are doing it is because they can't for they can't find help to work on the farms and they can't afford to pay you know more than the minimum uh it just doesn't support it which is very similar to what's happening in the ride share thing people want to make more than the companies can pay or will pay and uh automation is available that will take care of the problem yeah and and i want to because i know we're going to get a lot you know drivers are just going to hate on us for you know saying the message right but the the whole purpose of this channel, we started this Penny Stupid channel. Steve and I are financial consultants. That was the whole point was to say, hey, can we go out there and show people how to do things, try these different side hustles, help people make more money? So we're not saying this to like say, you know, don't be upset, don't protest. We just want to give you the reality of don't be the last guy there waiting to milk the cow, right? right. It's, it's, it's going to happen and no matter how much you don't want it to happen. And I know it sucks because you... When I go out part time, I'm making forty bucks an hour. I think it's the easiest money ever for the most part, and it's fun. I enjoy doing it. I get out of the house, and it's great. But it's I can see it happening in real time as I see Waymos driving around me in Scottsdale now all the time. Well, you just posted Every time a video. I see a Waymo. You just yeah. posted a video where you're then, waiting for a passenger, and the Waymo car, the person gets in and drives off. Yeah, and it's like every time I see a Waymo, that's one less ride that's available. For Uber drivers. Right. So my, my message is, and, and I'm not saying don't go protest if you want, I'm, but I'm telling you, it's not going to change anything. Now, you know, I mean, what, have, how many protests did the, the carriage industry do when the automobile yeah. was coming out? <laughs> it's, it's not going to stop anything. But if you're an activist and, you know, you want workers' rights and this, that, you can do whatever you want. That's not the purpose of this channel. Okay. My, the purpose is not to take sides. The purpose is to say, hey, look, if you're trying to make some extra money, you're trying to support your family, you need to get out of debt, you need to do whatever it is. You need to focus on what's important. You can still make money in the rideshare business, but this is not long term, right? You cannot be a full time Uber driver right now. No, I, I don't care. You can't. You cannot do it. It doesn't make any sense. No, people you need to be do what you're doing, which is yeah, you, multi apping, playing the bonuses, and only going out when it makes sense. Yeah, you have to multi app because, like I said, two weeks ago or last week, no, two weeks ago, 
I made twelve fifty driving Lyft. They had some great bonuses. I took advantage of it. I made more money than the passengers paid Lyft. Yeah. Right. I, I made more than Lyft made. Okay. The next week, they they weren't offering those bonuses. They lowered those bonuses and tried to get me to go do it again. And I looked at that and I said, No, that doesn't make any sense. Not going to do it. So I made twelve fifty one week. Zero the next week. Why? Because I had other opportunities. So the whole point is you have to have multiple opportunities. If one slot machine, these gig apps are just slot machines. I look at them like slot machines. Mm. You got to have the cheat codes. You got to know when to pull the levers, right? right? And if you got a slot machine that's not paying out, you got to go to a different slot machine that is. And the more you have available, I'm always running five apps at the same time. The more apps you have available, the less you're going to feel like a slave because these apps will make you a slave to the yeah. app. Oh, I need a hundred bucks. I need a hundred bucks. I'm a Lyft driver. You'll be taking these shitty $3 rides because you're sitting in a parking lot waiting for Lyft to just get here. Here's a little ride. You're going to be feeding on these little crumbs. And all you're doing is just you know putting all these miles on your car that you won't be able to fix. And then eventually the big thank you is going to be, we don't need you anymore. We've got you know 3,000 autonomous vehicles yeah. in, in the city. You won't be able we don't to need drivers. On. And the way, the way it'll happen is you'll slowly get iced out. There'll just be less rides, less rides, less rides until you're eventually going to stop doing it because you're going to be sitting in a parking lot all the time. And this, so isn't have just, to have, this isn't just you bitching about this because one of the channels that you and I have both watched is Meaty Mama. I, I really mm -hmm. do like her channel. Um, but she's been complaining about how much you can earn on these apps. It just continues to go down. Go yeah. down. Yeah. It's not, there, there's not going to be some lottery one day. It's, this is the way it is going. We just want anybody that subscribes to our channel. Our goal is to help you make money. So we want you to prepare now, right? You need to prepare. We've been shouting about this for two years and mm -hmm. drivers get mad. You got to protest. You got, it's not going to do any, any good. Okay. Uber's not going to all of a sudden go, you know what we need to do? We need to double what the drivers are making. They don't want to deal with drivers. They want automated cars. <laughs> and there's probably never going to be a situation where there's no drivers at all. Right. But it's going to be at a point where drivers are going to be able to make what they can make. And it'll happen. Well, I say slowly, but it, it'll quickly get to a point where one day you're going to wake up and go, I can't make more than like $75 a day. I go out all day. I'm sitting in a parking lot. I can't make enough money. Yeah. And then, and then your car breaks down. You can't afford to fix it, whatever it is. And then you just stop doing it. That's how it's going to happen. It's not like you're independent contractor. You're not going to get fired. You're just not going to have enough money coming in to, to justify it. So you need to prepare now, get something else going now, even if it's not in the gig economy, because there's going to be in the next year, two, three years, millions of people that are in the gig economy right now, either full-time or part-time, looking for other ways to make money. Yep. So get out ahead of all those people because it's going to happen. And then it's going to be a lot harder to find other things. Get established in something else right now. You can keep driving right now, but not just one app. If you just drive one app, you are shooting yourself in the foot. You're never going to make enough. I make 40 bucks an hour still, you know, but I drive five different apps and I'm always constantly looking for how can I do this to maximize my return on my time? You know, it's funny. There's a, a person who we both know, and you've told me many stories about him, um, where you keep telling him about, look at these opportunities. You can go out and drive people and get all these bonuses. And their response is typically, why would I do that? I don't want people in my car. I just want to keep doing this thing. And then bitching about it being less and less and less you know, profitable. Yeah. And and I've only been doing these gig apps for two years now. We just started in October of 2022. Yeah. And just in the two years that we've been doing this, these apps have completely changed. Comple all of them. All of them. Not, I mean, every couple of months, it's now we're going to take away this. Now we're going to do this. And it's always done kind of like under the guise of this is going to be good for you as a driver. And it never is. It's right. never good for you as a driver. But the trend over the last two years has always been if you keep you know, if you drive the way you're driving, if I drove, if I did what I did in October of 2022, right, and I was making four, five, six thousand dollars a month part time doing that, if I didn't change the way I operated, because I, oh, this is great. I just go out there, I turn on the app, I, you know, take most of the rides. And my acceptance rate on Lyft back then was like 90%. Like most of the rides were great. I was making money. If I didn't change what I was doing, 
I would be, I would have gone from making four or $5,000 a month to maybe two driving the same amount of miles and putting in the same amount of time. So you have to constantly be adjusting to what they're doing. And that's why two years ago, I drove one app and it was great. Now I drive five and I barely ever drive for the app that I used to think was the best mm -hmm. two years ago. I just don't ever do it. Doesn't make any sense. I, I find it personally very frustrating listening to people bitch about the app company, Uber, Lyft, whatever, um, taking advantage of them. Because I, no. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but you know, in my head, I, I keep hearing, well, don't do it. <laughs> I, I see it's this is all perspective. I think a lot of these people maybe look look at like, oh, you know, Lyft is my job. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. You think that you're an employee. I mean, you know, you know, you're not an employee, but you kind of think like that. Like Lyft owes me this. Lyft owes me that. Lyft is just providing an opportunity. Uber, DoorDash, all the, they're just providing opportunities. So why somebody's complaining that they're not making any money. And then I go out there and I get a 40, like last night I did a $43 Walmart spark delivery. Mm -hmm. And while I was doing that delivery, I did two DoorDash deliveries at nine bucks a piece. I made $61 in like an hour and 20 minutes. I just posted that video. And I'm looking at that going, why would I be mad at DoorDash? Now, there's other people that go out and they'll see a $3 delivery and all they're doing is DoorDash. Yeah. So they've been sitting in a parking lot for an hour. They're not making any money. They're really pissed at DoorDash and DoorDash gives them a $3 offer. This is ridiculous. They're taking advantage of me. These we are need evil strike. <laughs> And then they'll go do that $3 order and complain about it yeah. the whole way. But that's why DoorDash puts $3 orders out there because people will take them. And they Don't do. Don't take them. Don't I always put like yourself it. yourself in a position where DoorDash can control you. I always like Flip it when the uh, people get, get drivers wound up and convince them to go strike. I'm sure the company is like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you, you Look, at, I, I, it's all about perspective. I don't look at it as, I look at it as this, which app is giving me the best opportunity right, right now? Right now. Right now. They're competing for my time. I'm in my car and I've got all these apps open. Mm -hmm. You suck. Oh, that one sucks. That one sucks. That one's pretty good. I'll think about it. That one's good. You know what? If I combine this one with that one at the same time, that's a good order. It's worth my time. I'll do it. You other guys suck. You can wait. Right. Right. And that's why if you look, if you go back and look at my earnings, Week to week, it's different every week. You might have one week where it's like Instacart was the big winner this week. You know, 60% of my earnings were on Instacart. And then the next week, it's like, what the hell happened to Instacart? <laughs> I didn't make a dollar on Instacart, but I went out and made $1,200 on Lyft. Right. Right. And then the next week, it's like, all of a sudden, Walmart's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. And then I'll make, you know, four or 500 on Walmart that week and 200 on Instacart and zero on Lyft. That's why you can't just pick an app and just drive for that app because it'll be feast and famine. All right. Uh, I think maybe the takeaway is you cannot be loyal to any one app. You have to figure out, at, like Damon said, right now, who's going to pay me the most to do something? And if it's not profitable for you to be out there, don't be out there anymore. As far as what's coming up in the future for side hustles or gig apps. Uh, I really don't have my finger on the pulse of any one thing. There are new small companies that are popping up, but they all follow the same path. They either collapse pretty quick or they uh, try to attract people by paying them more. And then as they get more and more popular, they pay less and less. The big takeaway is Waymo just secured 5.6 billion. These are autonomous vehicles that are on the roads right now and they're expanding. So if you're betting, one hand, you got pissed off drivers protesting that want more money. Yeah. The other hand, you got $5.6 billion for autonomous vehicles. If you've been in a capitalist society for more than a couple of days, <laughs> which side is going to win? Right well, or wrong, well, which side is going to win? So in all the farming automation videos that I watch, whether it's milking cows or harvesting crops, it's the same thing. Uh, the farmers say, these machines make me money because they're working 24 hours a day. And I don't have to you know, try to find somebody or hire them or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that Waymo is going to do. And people go, well, you know, the cars are too expensive. Waymo is investing in 
less expensive cars that look more like boxes. Um, Wait, are the people that are saying the car's too expensive the same people that are protesting for higher pay for drivers? Yeah. I, Damon, I, honest to God, I do not understand that argument at all because you're working for the company. What, what are you going to force them to do? They got enough drivers. I, I don't this understand is, it. I, I go back to, and I know I, we're not shields for the company. We're just like guys that think about stuff. Yeah, I right? just don't understand it. These opportunities didn't even exist 10 years ago. You wouldn't be driving for Lyft if Lyft didn't exist. So at, at a certain level, you have to be thankful for the opportunity that you had when the opportunity was there. Yeah. And there is still some opportunity if you don't try to turn 2024 lift into 2021 lift. Right. 2024 lift is not 2021 lift. And if you try to make it 2021 lift, you're going to be upset. Yeah. There are probably probably guys still sitting in the airport queue right now. Oh, I say, where's my phone? I was going to get my phone. I was going to show you, but yeah, (laughs) stop. Just look, don't be full-time Lyft drivers. Don't be full-time Uber drivers. Right. right now, I would get in. I would branch off into grocery delivery, food delivery. Those are eventually going to be automated too. But it seems like the rideshare is further along than like yes. DoorDash having automated vehicles. And yes. So to buy yourself more time, that's what we're talking about. You know, the gig work is ma- basically dead for most of you in the next couple of years. You know, it's it's probably always going to exist at a certain level, but not for millions and millions of people that are currently in it, right? You're going to get phased out. So to buy more time, you got to diversify. you got to stop. Drive for Lyft when there's bonuses. Drive for Uber when there's bonuses. Yeah. But start Instacart, start Walmart Spark, start DoorDash, start Uber Eats, start learning how to do all these other things because that will buy you a little bit more time because when all these, what do you think all these Uber and Lyft drivers, when they eventually get fully asked out of the equation? Yeah. What do you think they're going to do? They're gig workers. They're going to they're be looking. Get on these waiting lists now before a half a million people get on these waiting lists. Get signed up for these apps. Start learning for ways to make more money. See, we talked about that, what, a year ago when I was like, I'd never do Instagram. <laughs> hey, you did. Sucks. Uh, I don't like to shop. And I remember. Course, like, I remember one of my favorite apps. Yeah, I remember saying to you back then, why not? Try it. Yeah. Um, but the, the other day I got, what was it, 130 100 No, it was $140. I'm just sitting in my office. And do, 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 you know, on the and I looked down $143 and I was like, what? <laughs> Except that. And I didn't even know what it was. And I look at it and it, I don't remember what the, it was like, I don't know, 50 items, 55 items, something like that. 143 bucks. It took me two hours. Yeah, I left I, the office, went, did the shop, dropped it, came back, 143 bucks. I and say, Lyft is out there going, hey, you want to do this ride for $3? No. Screw I say that. I'll do the hundred and forty dollar Instacart. Man. Don't be loyal to the company. Be loyal to you. Yeah. Do what's be best. Loyal. Make the most that you can. Now, you mentioned DoorDash. What's going to happen? You know, with food delivery. Well, being a pilot, um, I'm very focused on what's been going on in drone delivery. And there's a company out there, Wing, uh, that is already a, a certified air carrier, and they're working kind of towards the final steps of doing drone delivery, like within a 15 minute radius of a restaurant. Mm-hmm. And you don't think that people are going to, to use this. If the, you know, drone comes it's to the your, coolest thing ever, dude. <laughs> yeah. Drone comes to your house and lowers it down, you know, in, in your front yard and you take it off the string. So think about it. Why wouldn't I want to do that? Because, Right now, I got to wait for a DoorDash driver who may or may not head in the right direction, may, you know, whatever. This way, my food is getting put on this thing by the restaurant, flies right over to my house and brings it right to me. I you mean it. they might not want a, a, a dirty guy that has a shower that's smoking pot in the car as they're delivering food? Yeah. You and you not, know what else you don't? They might not want their pizza you don't in do? that car? You don't tip, right? You don't, no. you don't tip the drone? You don't trip, tip Waymo. You don't tip the drone. Uh, well, hey, n- don't worry because people that take Uber and Lyft don't tip anymore either. <laughs> so they're, they've already got that down pat. I mean, tipping has just gone. And, and other Uber Lyft drivers, I'm sure you've noticed the same thing. It can't just be me. I mean, I got a really nice car. I'm very friendly. I mean, maybe it's just me. But, you know, the other day, what did I say, Steve? I did like, what, it was like 24 yeah. rides and I got four tips. No, it was 29 rides. I got four tips. Yeah. 
And it wasn't like that in 2022, 20, when I first started, it was unusual not to get a tip. Yeah. Now I'm like, you know, you can't drive for tips. Now you're like, you're lucky to get a tip now. And I'm talking, these are small rides. So I've been doing $4 rides, $5 rides, $6 rides, no tips, four tips and 29. I mean, imagine if a waiter's like, Hey, I'm working at this restaurant. I've, I've, I've waited on 29 families and only four of them gave me tips. Yeah. Everybody else said, no, nope. you know, the tips are going away. People aren't tipping anymore. All right, Damon, on that note. $5.6 billion to kick you off your gig work. You're gone. Hey, keep up Go with the, for the Penny Stupid channel because Damon's been posting. I think you're pretty much kind of going for the daily video, but uh, you've been putting out some really great stuff. I've really enjoyed it. So make sure. Yeah, you I just subscribe. I just put one out right before we went on this podcast and talking about uh, a little strategy with Walmart Spark. Yeah, and you know, driving DoorDash while you're doing your Walmart Spark delivery to make more money per mile. And again, this is like if you're a Lyft driver, dude, I I could show you guys how to make extra money, especially when you know it's slow out there and you're sitting in parking lots, sitting in the airport queue. Let those sixty other drivers yeah. sit in the airport queue while you go, go make out. And go do some Instacart or some DoorDash, and you can leave your Lyft app on while you're out there. But there's more. The airport queue is like this mouse trap. It's just like they <laughs> trap you all in there, and nobody's getting good rides, or you're begging for one ride an hour, and you're making twelve bucks. Or eight. yeah, stupid. stay out of the airport queue. Uh, so like this video that really helps us. It tells YouTube that we're okay. Uh, subscribe to the channel. So and ring that notification bell so that you're actually notified when the next video comes out. Damon, see ya. We're going to get a lot of hate for this. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well.